Hey, what's happening, everybody? Zach here. Welcome back to the channel. So in this one, I want to talk about Shiba Inu and Dogecoin and really the entire space and talk about some FUD that is also happening around our space and how I believe you've got to put the FUD aside. Don't listen to the FUD because it uh, gets in the way of investing in these types of assets. So we're going to jump into an article. And again, I'm, I'm going to provide some analysis around uh, what some people are saying lately, you know, around investing in SHIB and Doge and Interestingly enough, you know, even Elon has uh, taken a hit uh, at some of these other currencies that aren't Dogecoin. But it's kind of funny because Dogecoin is the same thing, right? Uh, it, it's in the same class. So it's almost as if people are, you know, picking and choosing which ones they want to tout and which ones they want to spread FUD about. Um, see what I did there? I just rhymed. I didn't even mean to. But uh, so before we get started here, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. That would be amazing. And I'm going to take uh, the first sip real quick. Great, as always. So, uh, yeah, we do have the Patreon link down below in the description. We also have uh, a bunch of affiliate links. If you want to join us uh, over there, over at uh, Coinbase, Robinhood, Crypto.com, we've got you covered down there. Uh, and Weeble as well. So we both get a nice little kickback. But now let me jump into this. Um, so Edward Snowden, uh, who's very, very popular in the media space, He's talking about uh, against Shiba Inu Media, basically saying in a recent tweet that the former NCA um, National Security Agency consultant cautioned his followers about investing their hard earned money into a clone of dog money. Well, here's the thing. I don't think he came out and said this when Shiba or when uh, Dogecoin was running. I don't I don't think so. Right. Um, if you got talked into exchanging your hard earned savings for some new dog money because a meme said you could get rich, please carefully consider your odds of outsmarting a market. Well, I agree with that. I mean, you're not going to outsmart a market. That's why you don't try to. You don't try to time a market. Um, and I agree with him here, too. He says you should take some profits along the way. I agree with that. At least take your initial investment off the table at some point. I agree with that. So everything here, I, I agree with. Um, but I think the way the articles that I'm seeing recently are casting it in this negative light, uh, I just want to make sure that people aren't looking at this as like a reason to get out of all of these assets and everything's going to go to zero. I just don't think that's going to happen. Uh, so SHIB and Doge are currently worth more than 388 companies in the S&P 500 index, which is absolutely insane, right? In a recent tweet, Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz compared Shiba Inu to e-car manufacturer Tesla, claiming that both of them are being propelled by communities that are sucking new disciples. And I mean, hey, if, if Shiba Inu is the Tesla of crypto, okay, that, that sounds great. Uh, Tesla is GameStop, is Cardano, is AMC, is Shiba going up because people want to buy. I agree with Mike here. Um, but, you know, Mike basically says, I don't want to invest like this. But guess what, Mike? Uh, and this is no disrespect to you at all. Other people do. Other people do uh, follow this, this new way of investing, right? So I think you can still, you know, look at both ways of investing and one being more risky, one less risky. But again, I think people like to spread fun about this more risky side of investing, especially when they're not a part of it. Right. I don't think Mike has invested in SHIB, so he has not uh, you know, enjoyed the benefits. Right. The Shiba Inu mania has spilled over into Dogecoin knockoffs with Dogelon, uh, Dogelon Mars also soaring by 270 percent over the past week. But uh, here's the reality of it. OK, I think a lot of these people out here are upset uh, in one way or another that they didn't get in. And now they've got to spread FUD to others, you know, who, who maybe did. Um, but I just want to come on here, set the record straight. I'm not selling. I know SHIB is taking a little bit of a pullback right now. I did go ahead and get some more at the 6.7 range. I know I'm below that right now. It's down to the 6.2. I'm going to be very transparent with you. That's my third different open position, and I'm okay with it. I'm holding steady. Okay, so I'm actually in the red on that one because uh, we are trading down at the 6.2. But here's the thing. I'm hoping we consolidate there at the low sixes, and uh, I would love that if we could do that for about 10 days. 10 to 14 days, I think that would be really healthy for the overall price. Okay. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you in the next one.